Hi, this is Denise from Germany, and the question is for Nick. If someone made a movie about your life, which moments have to be in it? Thanks for answering the question. Bye. Probably a lot of stuff that has to do with my family because um, I had done a TV show called House of Carters that exposed us a little bit, but didn't tell every sing like specific thing in detail, um, and I, I don't think gave the world a really good idea of who we were as people, but um, maybe something to do with my family because they don't. A lot of people don't know how hard it is actually to uh, be in a family that's in the show business. So uh, I would say something definitely to do with my brother and sisters and my mother and father and um, uh, coming from a broken home. So. Um, Maybe something to do with that, but all obviously things to do with the Backstreet Boys as well. Um, being uh, 12 years old and starting in, in the Backstreet Boys and all the way till 29, so so many things have happened in the group as well. So there's a lot of things to choose from, but I think maybe those two things would absolutely absolutely have to be in in my story. Hi guys, um, my name's Kelly and this is my gorgeous daughter Lauren. We're coming all the way from Portsmouth, UK. And my question is for Nick. Um, do you have a song that you listen to regularly that inspires you? Um, I would have to say, not to be too corny or um, uh, cliche, but I mean I love movie uh, songs and scores and especially from inspirational movies such as like Rocky and one of my favorite songs is actually called uh, There's No Easy Way Out and I know it's sort of an 80's cornball rock song but I think that when you listen to it it, it sort of it gets your, your blood pumping and lets you know that no matter no matter what comes your way or any obstacles uh, hit you um, you can overcome anything and there is no easy way out there's just right directly through it. What's up BSB? It's Bianca. I love you guys so much. Don't ever stop putting out music because I will listen to you until I go deaf. Seriously. <laughs> okay, I want to ask Mr. Nicholas Jean Carter. Do you regret making those Burger King commercials since you love McDonald's so much? Tough question, huh? Do I regret making those Burger King commercials since I love McDonald's so much? Well, I have to say, I love McDonald's, but I also love Burger King, too. Uh, Burger King actually gave us an opportunity, um, if you didn't know, for me to release Action Heroes. We were actually little figures, little figurines of Action um, Heroes off of a comic that I got a chance to create with Stan Lee. So, Burger King, I have to thank them for giving me an opportunity. So, do I regret those uh, commercials? Not necessarily too much, but... Um, yeah, maybe the hats and the little dance that uh, came along with that, uh, that's my cat, um, maybe should have gone. So. But maybe we'll do it over again. Get that right, Ripley. Say yes. What is this, Andy? I don't know it. The question is for Nick. In three words, define your present, past, and future. So. Bye! Um, I would have to say um, my past would be probably the word turbulent and I know you're probably thinking why, you know, I've had a lot of great times and, and I've also had some, uh, some lows as well. So turbulent meaning that when you're on that ride, when you're on that ride sometimes it gets a little bumpy and other times it's a smooth ride. Um, and that goes for anything uh, in, in my life when it comes to Backstreet Boys, to my family life, my brother and sisters, um, to, to just, um, you know, handling everyday life and, and stress and pressure, love, all sorts of things. Um, another thing that, uh, another word that would probably describe my present would have, have, have to be um, triumphant. And the reason I picked Triumphant is because I feel like even though everything has been turbulent and I've had my ups and downs and I may have um, experienced some lows that I've, you know, I have learned from them as well. So I have triumphed over those um, uh, and become a better person, 
Lastly, I'd, I'd also have to say uh, the last word which would describe my future would have to be prosperous because uh, I really do believe that, um, that after all the turbulent rides that I have triumphed over, I will prosper so, uh, and, and, and get everything and more back from Backstreet Boys to personal life to um, anything. So uh, those are my three words that would describe me in my life. Somos de Perú. And we have a question. If you were a president for one day, what would you do? Bezos! You know, I was just about to go to bed, and then I just realized I had another question. And that question was, if I were president for a day, what would I do? I got it. I'm letting everybody go to sleep. Nobody would have to work. You could sleep for one day. No, I'm just joking. Actually, I got a good I got a good answer for that one. I would make everybody shut their power off for the entire day. But then they'd have to give like little snack foods and stuff like that out so that nobody dies and pass out water and stuff like that. That would be cool. See what happens. You can save energy. I know they have like an Earth Day and stuff like that, but I'd make you chill. Just everybody just chill so you could sleep and then. But it'd have to like be in wintertime because when it gets hot and it's like summertime, then kind of people burn up. It's not good. But that's sort of what I do. Or I'd let everybody play video games. Alright, I gotta go to bed. <laughs>